working on my video. I have something very different today that I'm going to do. I recently, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently done a little bit of a painting and decorating and a bit of a revamp of my dressing room. And a couple of people have DM'd me and asked me where did I get certain things and where are my units from and how did I store stuff and that kind of thing. And it was literally just some pictures on Instagram. So. I did plan on doing this a while back, so I actually said I'll do it today. I'm going to do um, a quick room tour and just to give you some ideas of what you can do with a very small space. So yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into organizing and girly rooms and tours and that kind of stuff, which I love watching, I got a lot of my ideas actually from YouTube, from watching other people put together the systems from Ikea and that kind of thing and a lot of my things that I have in here are from Ikea so anything I can find on the website I will link it below um, or any items I have that I can remember and find I will do the same so I'm going to flip it around and we'll start from over there so okay so this is the entrance into my dressing room closet room girly room place that I live um, it's a very basic three bed I have and we have two bedrooms at the back my daughter's is in there, and this is the smaller one. And this used to be a dumping ground just for anything we didn't use. You know what it's like when you have a spare room. You just kind of put things in it and close the door. So I was like, no, I'm going to make use of it a couple of years ago and got some inspiration from YouTube and decided to turn it into my little girly room. And I love it, I use it every day. It's the best thing I ever did. And it wasn't dear, it was cheap, it was affordable. It took me a while to get it to where I was. And I just love it, I use it every day. And if you're like me and you're into your your clothes and your shoes and anything girly. If you have a, a spare room, I think you can do great things with them, especially if it's small, don't be put off, you can do great things with it. So I'm gonna give you a quick um, guide around and show you how I organize things as well. So firstly, we'll start from this way. I'll just close over the door. It originally had in this whole section here, this originally had all just wardrobe doors on it. So I wanted everything to be very open and to feel quite boutique. So I literally took the doors down. You can see the little fixtures there, which I probably should have took down as well. Um, I might get around to doing that. I do forget about them, to be honest. And I just wanted everything to, for me to see to the eye when I come in and to see what I want. So everything that's there was there originally. The only thing I did add was some more shelves. So for the likes of this one up here, I added this shelf in and I added about four of these shelves here too. I think there was about three of them in it. So I just went to um, a kitchen company that makes kitchens and bedrooms. And I just literally took one of these out um, that was loose and brought it to the guy in there. And he cut me up about five of them. I think they were about 10 euro each. And I just added these little fixtures here for the shelves. He actually gave me them, but you can get them in any good DIY. And it just gave me such... A better option for space. I, I measured the actual height of the heels that I was putting them in. I put one shoe in and just measured to make sure some would fit because some of them actually have like obviously higher heels and that kind of thing on them and then right down to the bottom I have flat so that's probably the, the most used space in here that I have for my shoes and then up there I have um, like my summer sandals and kind of overstock of that's the word of sandals I don't use very often and then I kind of try to keep everything colour coordinated as in like I try to keep my heels, the blacks of silver, kind of anything that has like a strap. I try to keep them all so they blend in together and down them the bottom I just have blacks. And I do the same with my clothes and I keep all my hangers the same. Um, I keep all black velvet hangers. They're actually from Primark. You can get a pack of 10 of them, I think for about three or four euro. And then I do the same with my clothes. I start with my jackets. I try to keep the colors together with the blacks black t-shirts, black tops, black shirts, and then into maybe a couple of cardigans. I have one hoodie, just the one for now. I'm starting to get into more leisure wear, but I will invest in some more. And then down here I have like my regular tops. And as you can see, I don't have a huge amount of clothes. Like I have actually quite a small collection and nothing expensive, nothing designer or anything like that, but I just like to see everything at a glance. Um, and I do like things to be tidy and organized. I have like greys into pinks into blues and browns into whites and then I have a couple of pair of silk PJs and a couple of summer skirts and black skirts and um, folded over trousers and that kind of thing um, and then down here I have we'll walk our way around I have a small little footstool that I keep my camera equipment in 
and then this is probably the most used drawers that I have in the room these are uh, so I think it's they're from Ikea I think they're called the Malum range there's different sizes but these are the tall I think it's kind of like a tall kind of a tall boy but you've got one two three four you have four really deep chest of drawers as you can see and then you've two narrow and they're really really good for fitting small things in but the big ones are great because they're really really deep so in here I have a couple of pieces of stationery in there I keep my MacBook. In there I have underwear and again very boring but I keep everything colour coordinated exactly the same way I do um, with these little holders from Ikea as well as you can see I have my socks and even those I keep colour coordinated and I fold them I know how sad I have like my liners for the gym and then I have some winter ones in the back and the same all the way through if I go on to the next one and show you I have my makeup bags and these drawers are really really deep so you can fit a really good few pieces into it and even if your the makeup bags are quite deep you can fit as many as you need to. I mean there's plenty of room in them. I've even got some at the back folded kind of flat uh, holiday ones that I would use and pack up into my my carry-on suitcase or anything like that and then down the bottom I have my wallets iPad covers phone cases um, sunglass cases some card holders SLGs and a couple of pairs of leather gloves that I don't use that often unless it's the winter and then the same goes again over this side I have this is actually what I call my travel drawer I have all things for like under 100 mils that I can throw into a carry-on um, and very small little samples of like moisturizer and eye makeup and these little pouches are great I always keep these from uh, Tori Borcher from Louis Vuitton to carry things in for going away if you want to just throw something in your handbag I think they're really really good if you want to separate things and keep things organized so I call that my travel drawer and then this one is all my bikinis and summer dresses which obviously don't get used that often and then in this one I have my vests and shorts and all kinds of summer pieces in there probably bits for the gym I normally use that drawer and then in here I have my sunglasses and I have two belts I have a Gucci belt and a Louis Vuitton I have little sunglass cases in the back and then I have my sunglasses here you go right into the back these drawers actually lift out a little bit so you can get an extra bit of room some of them are designers some of them are high street but sometimes it's nice to have a change isn't it depends on your outfit what sunglasses you want to wear and then in here i just have some costume pieces and some watches nothing expensive or anything like that i just keep my costume pieces in here and yeah then i have a glass top on this to stop it getting um any kind of marks on it I need to get another one of these actually for my dressing table. I think it just gives a lovely finish, especially when, I'll show you, this is a little light from Ikea. When the light is on, it gives a lovely effect on the glass and they really save the top of any of your chest of drawers. And as I said, that lamp is from Ikea. Yeah, that's what we do with that camellia, but that's what I do. I stuck on the little lamp and I have a little Chanel ribbon. Uh, the mirror is number seven. I don't know where that little artificial flare is from, to be honest, I have it quite a while. And there's my baby. I've been using her all week so she's pride in place on top of my unit oh she's so pretty anyway moving on <laughs> my shelf here is actually from ikea i think it might be part of the billy there's a billy bookcase range i'm not sure that's a billy shelf but i'll certainly link it below if i can find it and i like to keep all my handbags as many as i can in their dust bags for the simple reason that when i go to take them in the real world things get dusty and I don't want to have to dust things every time I use them. So I clean my bags after I've used them, give them a wipe with a baby wipe and I pop them back into their dust bags. So I've got two DKMY and two Michael Kors. I know people sometimes give Michael Kors a hard time, but these two bags, I have that bag there maybe six years and it's probably one of the best bags I have that I own for durability, throwing it on the floor when I'm on a plane and I don't have to worry about it and it holds loads. So you don't always I really love Chanel absolutely love it it's the dream bag but I still like to go to these kind of ones as well I love DKMY so I like to keep my collection a bit of everything to be honest and then over here this wardrobe unit here from here as you can see this part here this is a unit from Ikea now I will link it below I know they still have it because I was only in Ikea last week and I saw it I literally bought it from Ikea, put it together and didn't put the doors on. So that gives the same kind of effect as this. 
I did have the option of maybe keeping the doors on there and doing the same with this one, but I wanted, as I said, that boutique feel of everything being out in the open uh, so I could see everything. And that's why I, did. I just didn't put the doors on this. And I actually done the same. I put in some more shelves over here. I think it came with two shelves. So I did the very same thing. I just brought one of the shelves to the kitchen company again and he made me, I think, three more. So I've one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And I'm actually thinking because I have a little bit of room on this one, I might get another one made for there. And it just gives me so much more space. And up here I have my Chanel, that's meant to be like that. And again, I have those little push lights from Ikea as well. And I have my Gucci there, I have a Louis Vuitton here, and I have a Tory Burch in there. And then at the top I just have some boxes from Ikea storage boxes. I just put on them, boxes are in that one from like designers, things that I got in the box, like my Louis Vuitton boxes and my Prada. And then I have the little... Um, bags as well in that one and then I have pouches in that one and I just have another little storage box. Anywhere I have a bit of space I will make use of, put it that way. So down here I have my little kind of clutch bags or smaller bags which I grab and go. Then I have, um, again I keep my colours together, my white t-shirts, my colour t-shirts and these are more gym pieces that I would use. Uh, then I have gym leggings here. Down here I have some jeans. And down here I have my boots and as you can see they're quite deep so I've got like three sets to the front and three sets to the back so it's a really good use of space with that wardrobe just by not putting the doors on it's very much like the pack system I think that's what a lot of people use uh, you design the pack system and it's a lot bigger and there's a lot more detail in it but this one was just a lot easier for me to do and again I, I don't think this shelf came with it I'm not sure but I might have another shelf. I think I have another shelf, I just don't use it, but I got this shelf, another one of these made for here. And again, I just keep my trainers uh, in the bottom of that one. Run out of space. My love for trainers, I think, is overtaking my love for heels. And the top part then, this I just added on. This wasn't with it, as you can see, there's a, you can see the difference in them. Ikea do, I didn't get this one from Ikea, these two units here, but you can get them exactly the same. And there's another part in the middle. I just took that out because it was limiting me for space. And I just, they're cubes. They're basically these cubes you can get in Ikea. Again, I'll do the same. I'll try and link them below. And I bought two sets of cubes and yeah, just put them together and it gave me more room on top. So I have plenty of space um, wherever I can find. And again, I have the little, the little push lights everywhere as well. And they're actually quite nice, especially when it's dark and in the winter, they give a cozy effect. And again, I do the same here. I have my dresses and my longer kind of wool coats and heavier pieces. And then I have all the black is on my work pieces. And then I have more dresses there. Um, so I know everywhere where I have, like I'd never put, I know it's kind of sad on my OCD, but I'd never put shirts or t-shirts or anything over there. Cause I have department, I have areas that I would put everything in. And I think anyone that has, these kind of wardrobes they do the same this is probably the most used part I'm going to show you this is my dressing table and again it's all Ikea I have my blind down because it's the evening and the sun is beaming in and you won't see anything if I pull it up so I have a very small desk unit from Ikea this is not a dressing table it is actually a desk unit again I will link it below I was only in Ikea as I said last week and they still have it so it's still available and again it's not expensive um, oh, before I move on briefly, just to show you, I did have wood. I have wooden floors, but they were just a normal varnish. And I decided, along with everything else, because I like it bright and because it's such a small space, I painted it white with a floor paint that I got in a normal DIY store. And it's just bright. I know I have a big rug in the middle, but it's brightened everything up so much. The other space that I have left, and I really like it. I should have done it ages ago, so... Um, new curtains or new drapes I put up as well just to brighten it all up. They're kind of like a gold. You're not really seeing them very well with the light, but there's a gold and a fleck of silver and all the colours I love and they're silk and they're really good quality. I really like those. Uh, and this is, there's some pieces I need to do a video on those. That's a, a little mini haul. Um, these are the, this is the dressing table that I was talking about, but it's not a dressing table. It's actually 
a desk. When you're in the office part of Ikea, it comes in two sections. So you have from here to here is one part and then that's a small set of drawers that are on wheels. So you could add as many of them as you need to basically onto it. Um, and I have my little bin there and all my cables here. That Most of them are hidden to be honest. You won't see them in my chair is there. Um, and these are actually, believe it or not, I had, I think they were Muju drawers, but they were quite small. I couldn't fit a lot in them because I have so many. Um, and we, we really need all them lip glosses, don't we? Not at all. And lipsticks and brushes. But these are actually from Primark, believe it or not. They are great quality. One, two drawers at the top and they're in three pieces. So that's one bit. That's another section and that's another section. And I keep, as you can see, I have lip glosses. Oh, sorry about the light. I've got uh, oh, spare brushes, not ones I use very often at all. I have more lip glosses in there. Lip pencils, lip sticks, uh, moisturizers. And the same again, I have more moisturizers in there. And I use this on a regular basis. That's why I have it sitting on top of my dressing table. It's quite big, but I use it all the time and I get great use out of it. And then, down here I have um, a little stationery drawer that I just keep a few pieces of paper and notepads and that kind of stuff in there. And um, for my mornings when I'm doing my planner, I'm planning out my week, I can just go in here and take out what I need to. This is um, a box that a friend of mine gave me years ago and it just fit in there perfect. But you can actually get boxes from Ikea that will slot in there as well. But I just love the colours of it. And every morning, this is where I keep my daily items. So I have like my wipes and my deodorant and my moisturizers, my cotton pads, my tans, my nail varnish remover, everything that I use regularly I keep in there and as you can see I can just flip it out and use them whenever I need to. Down here I have spare boxes of, I have electrical stuff in here like chargers and, and phone cables, that kind of thing. And then the bottom box down there actually don't have anything in. And this drawer here then, if I move you up, this is my everyday makeup drawer. So this is where I pull out and I have everything that I use every morning in here. So I have my brushes and my foundations and my lipsticks and everything that I use on a regular daily basis is in there. And it's very handy to have um, when you're sitting here and doing your makeup because everything is literally just underneath you. So great use of space in Ikea. As I say, these are desks, but for a dressing table, I just think they're brilliant. And that little tissue holder is actually from Dunn stores and so is that little holder I have there and I have all my regular again pieces I use all the time and um, my concealers my foundations my face oils and then in these little drawers here I keep hair bobbins and pins and um, tweezers and that kind of stuff so I always know where everything is and then in these ones here there's more drawers down here I have these glass units on top as well to stop I need one big one, I think, to go across the whole thing, which I will try and look into getting. It'll save it because you can, the white can mark very easy. So then in this drawer here, I keep my foundations and some lip pencils, some blushers, some setting powders. And then this one here, I have all my palettes um, that I obviously would use every day. And I can flick through them, whichever ones I want to use. They're really handy because it's obviously right beside me. And then this one here, I keep all my nails, my nail varnishes and anything to do with my manicure. And then this one down here is my hair. So I have my straightener, my hair dryer and all my hair products. So every drawer has the same things in it. And when I go to them, I just know where everything is. And I've always been like that. I just love things to be organized. Um, and this is my little TV that I sit much on my housewives and my YouTube. I hook up my Chromecast. Just put a small little bracket on the wall. It's actually quite a small TV. I think it's about a 24 inch. If I step back and see, it would be ideal if it was white, but it works, doesn't it? That's all I need. And I can sit here with my little chair. This chair is actually from Argos. If it's still available, I think it's a great comfy little chair. I think it was about eight euro. Best thing ever, just love it. And the little rug, um, I think it's from Dunn's. I don't think it's an Ikea one and the little cushion is from Dunn's as well. So this is probably the chair I use the most. 
Uh, the back over here again, I have, as I say, the TV. I have the cable connected down the back of this IKEA lamp because there's nothing worse, I don't think, than when you start seeing black cables on white walls. I wanted to hide it as best I could. So this little lamp here is from Ikea, another little camellia. And this is great in the evenings, it's great light. And if you're doing your makeup, I can bend this one around here and it actually gives great light um, if you're sitting down there and doing your makeup. And then I have connected the, the cable down to the back of that so you don't see it. And it's hooked in behind the unit, obviously down to the bottom there. And yeah, that's um, that's that part. And I have a really cute little clock. This is actually from Dunn's stores as well. And it says, time flies, memories last forever. And how true is that? Okay, so the last section I'm going to show you again is another piece from Ikea. This comes in two separate parts, as far as I can remember. This is where I keep all my lotions and potions and perfumes and stuff. Um, this unit here, I think, comes as one piece from Ikea. And then from this part here, this is another piece. And the front, the door on it, I think, is actually optional. You don't have to buy the mirror. You could just have it open if you wanted to. But it was my only way of really getting the mirror in here without putting one, say, here behind the door. And I didn't want that. I wanted to try and keep up together. So this was ideal. Again, if I find it on the IKEA website, I will link it. It's actually a bathroom unit. It's not for a bedroom, but I think there's great use of space again in this one. And I just have uh, little trinkets, little, un little candles. And I mean, these are great shelves if you did want to put bottles or display anything out. But the only thing is I tend to dust maybe every second day and you'd be constantly moving bottles around and cleaning underneath them. So I tried to keep it quite minimal here. Um, and it's a great use of a mirror, the fact that it's on a door. And then inside, I just have all my, like my tans and my moisturizers and um, kind of overstock of anything that I don't use very often, like um, masks and that kind of thing. And then down here I have my Chanel perfumes and then I have my other, every other brand kind of perfume. And then down here I have, as you can see, I like perfume. I have more, I have my bath and body and my body sprays and all my travel ones. I love all these, I keep these. If I get samples or anything, I think they're a great idea if you're going away to keep, like I have a few Louis Vuitton ones there. And these are great little things. I got these in a shop called Tiger um, here in Ireland. They're little reusable and refillable perfume bottles. And I literally have just P-touched them um, with the names of what they are for when I travel. So I have my Chanel number no. 5, my Tom Ford, my Bronze Goddess, my Hermes and my Chanel number no. 22. And it's just really handy if you have a small bag like my Chanel bag. I can just throw one of them in and I always have a perfume with me. Um, and then these are great too. These come from a store in Kilkenny called Valley of the Roses. She does dupes and inspired by perfumes of all your favourites. And she's really, really good at them. And again, they're great for carrying on holidays and any of those small ones I always bring away with me or throw into a handbag. And then down here, I just have my body moisturizers and then my hand creams and maybe foot creams and kind of overstock of stuff that I don't use very often. So great use of space, I think, in that unit from Ikea. And again, it's a bathroom one. And if I find it, I certainly will link it down below. So the other side of it, I'm just going to show you now. I have another small unit. Uh, this obviously is separate to the one I've just showed you. I used to have this one beside my um, tall chest of drawers. And when I bought my second one, I moved this over here. I wasn't sure if it would fit, but it actually does. I have it so, um, just fits in perfect. If I open my door, and see if you come in that's kind of where I have it so I, I didn't measure everything to fit again this is part I think this could be part of the Billy range again in Ikea I'm not sure but again it's still available and I will link it below I should be sponsored by Ikea at this stage should I everything I have is Ikea in here but it is so it's cheap and if you don't like it you can always move it around without having to pay huge money to get a built-in wardrobe everywhere that my budget wasn't around me Um. So yeah, I can't recommend them enough. So this is a very small shelving unit. I think it's about, if it's even 30 euro. 
and I just have a small little silver tray sitting on top with some perfume and a candle and little artificial flowers. I think this is from TK Maxx, probably about 20 euro. And then I have a small jewelry box that I pop some costume pieces in and the same with this one here. And then I have the same here. So it's just, you just kind of fill up the shelves and you can buy these shelves separate, I think, in Ikea. So you can actually add them in. You could have shelves the whole way down if you need to, which I think is a great idea. And then this is my um, carry-on bag. It's from Parfois. Absolutely love it. This little thing has been around the world and back. It's been dragged through every airport you can imagine and it's still as sturdy as ever. I think that and the little laptop bag went with it for about 120 euro. Best money ever spent. And so many little compartments and everything in it. And they do great luggage, great carry-on luggage in Parfois. So if you have one of them, I would definitely say check it out if you're looking for something like that. And then the last piece, I have a little, two little hooks up there and I just have um, a little hat hanging up. That's some Primark. It's cheap and cheerful, you can't really see it, but just to kind of finish it off. And then I just literally painted all my walls fresh white and painted all the floors fresh white. And that rug is actually from Ikea as well. I think it's about 50 euro, if it's even that expensive. And then I have a small crystal lamp shade that I just love. I actually prefer this. I have a really big chandelier in my bedroom and I much prefer this. This was bought, I think about a year ago um, in a home store here in Ireland called Harry Curry. People in Ireland would probably know it. I don't think it's in the UK, but I think it was only about 50 euro and it just, I think it's the prettiest thing for that price. The one in my bedroom was a hell of a lot more expensive and I don't think it's half as nice. So. Sometimes less is more, as they say. And then quickly, I'm just going to turn you around here and show you my last little piece of um, of my wardrobe I have. Very simple. I need to change it though, because I don't like uh, this. This is a towel rail. I think it's from, I don't know, maybe Argos or somewhere. I need to take these off. I have it years. I want to just put two hooks in and just click these on. And this is where I have my scarves. It's normally a little bit more <laughs> tidier. Um, my scarves, uh, my belts, and my silk scarves, and my wool scarves, my Gucci's, all them kind of things are just hang there. So they're handy to get to, instead of having them folded in a drawer and me trying to root through them, I can just grab and go as I leave um, out the door. So yeah, that's everything. As I said, guys, if I can find everything that I have on the websites, I will certainly link it down below. Um, because it, as I say 90% of it is from Ikea so you should be able to find it and it's cheap and cheerful nothing crazy expensive I reckon to do the whole room was less very much less than a thousand euro for everything and if you just plan it out in your head and me measure it it is very very easy to do because I had a lot of people in my DM saying where did you get this or how did you do that or where did you buy them what did you put together? So I said the best thing for me to do is I haven't done one in a while and I'll do a quick room tour and give you all um, a little insight into where I live. I do live in here. Um, so yeah, that's everything. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed my room tour. Excuse my red face. This room gets so hot in the evenings. It's blind down and I have no window open. The sun is in my the back of my house for from about 12 o'clock on once and these this room especially gets really really warm so that's why i am very pink in the face so thanks so much for watching i would love if you could hit that subscribe button and if you like these kind of videos hit the like button too and if you have any questions on anything that i've shown you um pop it down below i love to chat and i will see you again soon thanks so much